Hi, this is Dr. Christy Wan, and I wanted to go over the Blackboard website. And so here we go. So we start out, if you click the syllabus, this is where you can find the syllabus that has lots of important information regarding the class. As usual, our new requirement is that you will fill out this syllabus and honor code pledge activity. You'll click on the link and you'll answer a question and that means that you are kind of like signing the contract to abide by the syllabus. And then I put some information here um, about myself and my office, my phone number, my email address. Really the email address is the best way to reach me. You've got some other stuff that's available for you guys, my grades, email, UTC Learn Resources, Accommodations and Assistance, and then UTC Links and Resources. So there I just put a lot of different types of links that people have questions about, like how do I pay my fees, um, what are the UTC College of Business Undergraduate Advising Hours, and up at the top some different types of things like financial aid office or graduate school. So for your class, I've got the FIN 3020 course materials and I say start here and then I want you to read this first where it says read me first and it talks about it's just an introduction and eventually I'll have a, a YouTube introduction video just for myself and it just has some information here. So if I go back to the start here, um, you'll have to, since you'll be logging in to Cengage MindTap, you'll have to disable pop-up blockers. So no matter what browser you're using, you need to go to the settings and disable those so that it can pop up whenever you click on the link. And I'll show you how it pops up in just a minute. And then I have a quick guide to getting started with Cengage, so you can look at that to register and get access to all your course materials online. And I've got a student user guide, the textbook, some payment option information. Um, the weekly assignments, we'll look at that folder. And very importantly, the time due for all assignments is 11.59.59 p.m. So right before um, midnight. And so let's go up to those weekly, well, actually the next thing is the course calendar. So let's go there. So the course calendar just shows you all of the weeks. I have through week 16 and it tells you the dates and if there are any holidays in those dates. And then here I have a detailed course calendar and so if I click on the course schedule, it brings up the video that you should watch for chapter one or the list of videos and then the assignments and like you have to do mathematics one and mathematics two, their prep courses and how many points they're worth is over here on the right. And also in the syllabus, there's a less detailed list of this thing of, you know, what you should be doing each week. The main thing you have are the video lectures and your assignments that, that are graded over here. And so this is several pages. It's divided by the weeks that you're looking at. Um, so for example, week three is here, August 31st through September 6th. And then you need to do all of this in this area. And so let me close out of this. And now let me go to, so that's kind of like the overall course calendar and course structure the weekly course lectures and assignments. So all of those weeks that I showed before are right here. So when you're in the first week of class, you need to click on week one. The first thing I have here is that you should read chapter one. And so after you've set up your account, you'll be able to click, like I'm going to click right now, to read chapter one and it will bring it up. It takes it a little bit. And I've got chapter one coming up. And so I can click 
over here to go to the next page and look at the chapter introduction. And then you just will end up going through the book and reading through the different topics. And you can see here I can scroll down to get through the whole page. And there's sort of different options. You can bookmark a page or make the font larger or smaller. Or you could go, go back to the chapter contents and kind of get an overview of what you're going to be reading about. And so let me X out of that. So you read the chapter and then I've got for chapter one the lectures that I've done with PowerPoint are located here. So let's say I click on the first one for YouTube and I click on that and that I click it two times I guess and then you'll see the first video starting and it will be the lecture for chapter one at the beginning and so you can watch that and apparently you can watch this on your phone if you were traveling um, so it's pretty since it's use, it uses YouTube you can watch it fairly anywhere and so let me go back to the week one so all of the links are here and you could copy and paste these links into your browser if for some reason clicking on them didn't work. Then I also have Dr. Wan's video practice problems. So I usually had to divide them into several of them into two parts like part one and part two and you click on this and it goes through a set of practice problems and if you look at the answer key it shows everything that I went through um, on the video that I talk through. So for example we went through some of these questions I talked through them and I wrote notes and so I posted it here at the end so you could see what the answers were. And okay so you've got the videos and the answer key. If I go back to the week one chapter there are chapter one practice problems and so and there are also practice problems and flashcards so you could go here and that takes you to the MindTap website or you could look at flashcards that they've provided so those are practice problems and it's good to kind of do all of this in this order so that when you get down here to anything that says graded you'll do the best in terms of getting a good grade and so let's look at the first graded. This is kind of like a review for math. And if I click on Mathematics 1, it's going to take me to the first graded assignment, kind of like a prerequisite assignment. And so when it comes up, I would click on the first topic. And apparently I need the flash layer. So you may have to go through this step and hopefully this doesn't take too long. Okay so I went ahead and downloaded the Adobe Flash Player and so now if I click on the graded assignment Mathematics 1 it will take me to this assignment. And so if I want to complete percentages, the first part of the questions, I'll click on percentages. And it gives me, you know, some teaching about how to calculate percentages. And then down here are the questions. So what number is 20% of 70? And so you choose something and do your calculations. So all of these are the way you would answer these questions and then you could hit save and continue. Um, let's say I just choose the first one and I hit save and continue. Then I'll get to the next set of questions about what about a percentage change and so then I would go through 
hit save and continue and this icon down to here is telling me that this is a graded activity so I want to make sure I try to do my best. You can adjust the font and it also looks like if you click here that you could print this out. So I'm going to go back to the assignment and I'm going to leave the page without saving and you'll get your grade after the due date and you'll see what you made and so you go through all of these pieces and then you be completed or done with this assignment. So let me X out of that.